neo soul singer, songwriter, kind of a relatively new person to Guilt & Co. Um, having only started coming here at the end of 2019. The, the main thing that I feel like needs to be said, well, especially just with my experience here, is that I had never experienced what I did at Guilt, which was walking in with my originals and being able to be part of a ground up night, which was the day of the week that I was part of. And it all made sense. And not only that, but every single musician that was there was family. And I had never experienced that in my entire life. It was wholly overwhelming and wonderful. And just to be able to be brought into a group of people who are like-minded and generous with their time, with their musicianship, there's no judgment, it's, it's welcoming, it's just gorgeous, yeah. When I first started coming here, I was told that there was something special about Thursday nights and ground up. And I think I remember reading something somewhere about it, but it was only once um, I was luckily, lucky enough to end up with Paul Clark in my band. And it was just one day when we were chatting that he, he told me the whole story. And it, on one hand, really appreciated how, um, how much the evening was giving to people and, and not really broadcasting it in this huge way, but like what all of these, it suddenly it kind of all clicked as to why all these musicians are just such a family and, and why just even just guilt in, in particular, it's not even just the musicians, it's the bartenders, it's the people bringing you your food, it's everyone here. Once I heard what it was about and um, that of course just deepened the, um, the admiration and the love for the venue and the night in particular. Through the years, I've sung as a cover band singer. I've played in really big venues, really serious venues. And uh, I struggle a lot with anxiety and depression and, and I'm a total introvert in every possible way. When it came to performing here, of course, I was set with the exact same anxiety leading up to the gig, the day of, you know, kind of crippling depression because you just kind of feel like you should stay at home. No one wants to listen to it anyway. There's nothing worse than going out <laughs> at night and going to your show. And as, as I said, I instantly was part of ground up evening. And it was probably the first time in my entire life being at a show that I could entirely be myself. I'm on stage shaking. I think I'm going to throw up. Um, and I think it was two shows ago. Um, that I just lifted the mic up and just said, I'm so fucking nervous. <laughs> and I would never imagine doing that um, in any other circumstance. And it's only because of being part of Thursday, being part of the welcoming the community and the initiative going on through Thursday night, through ground up, um, that I've been able to do that here. And it's given me way more confidence to be myself more at other shows. That inspiration that comes from leaving a venue, feeling totally yourself, leads you to then be able to go home and write music that keeps that vibe going. And definitely playing here has informed my writing in so many ways because I know I can go home and write exactly what just comes out and bring it on stage. And, and I'm very, I, every single time, just even with one person suddenly singing the lyrics of something because they heard it the last time I played here is like, oh, so cool. Playing here has totally informed my confidence around my writing, around my genre, around settling into it and not questioning it. Yeah, it's been amazing. Mm -hmm.